seen bad things. I lost my good thing, and that was a damn good thing. Because ever since I lost my good thing, I've been taking application. <laughs> Don't take no applications. Well, how am I supposed to find me another good thing? Are there some good things out there? Well, see, I'm going to tell you, if you catch me right now, you catch me at the right time. If you can cook me some hot water cornbread and put me to sleep at night, you ain't got to worry about a damn thing. I'm not leaving the house. See, when you're young and you get a little something, you want to sneak out. You put it on me right, I'm going to sleep. In fact, you better have another room, because if you really do it, I'm snowing my ass up. See, if y'all know me, you know every song I sing will lead you up to how I lost my good thing. Like this next song. See, you know what? Uh, let me tell y'all something. See, about three months ago, I just got out of cheating rehab. Yeah, if you didn't know there's a such thing as cheat rehab, if you don't believe me, ask Tiger Woods. See, when my counselor told me, I didn't have to have but one meeting with him. He said, Terry, the only thing you need to know about a woman, and he says two things. The first thing you need to know, there's no man smarter than a woman. Now, I said, well, what's the other thing? He said, now, this one you need to listen to. He said, there's no man that can out-cheat a woman. Springs said, Terry, I'm on my way to Memphis. I'm gonna stop up on Lamar. I got this sweet thing I'm gonna need. He said, But the reason I call you is because she got a friend for you. So now I went home and told my wife, I said, Look, uh, I'm going to the liquor store. I'll be back in about two hours. Now y'all pay attention. My wife said, Okay, that's it. Went down there, got me a bottle of that night of head gin. When I pulled up to the hotel, there was a woman in the lobby that looked like my wife. The closer I got, I realized it was my wife. And she saw me. She didn't say a damn thing. I said, this fool and set me up on a blind date with my own wife. My wife was standing there with the key. She didn't run. She didn't say a damn thing. She just looked at me and shook her head. She said, you know what? <laughs> you thought you was playing on me. She said, but I was playing too. She said, every time your little yellow ass could up and leave, I'd be two steps behind you. Now if y'all with me, let me read your square.
going home. She said, ever since I started finding them poems in your pocket, when I watch your love, before I left, that girl told me that she was tired and she needed a little sleep. You know, she said, with the excuses you be using, you made it real easy. Ever made a great there again? She said, but she was playing to you. Cause every time you get up and leave, I'll be two steps behind you. Said it again, you thought you was playing on me. So I'm out of that sheet. But she was playing to you. Cause every time you get up and leave, I'll be two steps behind you. Y'all, my woman was creepy, creepy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, creepy, creepy. Every time I leave, she was creepy, creepy. When I leave, she right behind me. say nothing. See now, I could have started tripping, want to fight, but I'm going to finish getting this lesson so it don't happen to me again. So I said, uh, what you doing here? She said, really fool? She said, come over here and sit down. Let me tell you why it took you so long to catch me. She said, tell me, look here. First thing, every time you want to leave the house, you do the same thing. I said, what's that? She said, you start a fight about nothing. That's okay. She said, every time you want to leave, you don't have enough sense. You go in there, take a shower. Through the middle of the week, put some smell good on. Talking about you just going by your buddy house. She said, you know what, though? This is how stupid a man is. She said, you know that steak you walked out on last night? I said, yeah. She said, that wasn't for you. She said, that recliner chair that I bought that you don't ever sit in? She said, that wasn't for your ass either. It's okay. She said, but let me tell you this. She said, you know that old man that be cutting his yard with his shirt off every Thursday? I said, yeah. She said, 8 o'clock when you leave, 8.15, he's up here. He hit me jacket. She said, 8.30, I'm feeding him that steak that you walked out on. At 8.45, he's laid back in that recliner chair that you don't even bother to sit in. Now, this one, it got deep. She said, 9 o'clock, in that same chair, I'm riding him like a long range of rope silver. Now, at this point, I'm mad, but I want to hear the rest of this. She said, around 9.15, we done changed positions. She said a few minutes later, he'll raise his head up. I'm going to go to jail for that. She said she'll raise his head up and go, you think he coming back home soon? She said no, because when he left, he took two of them little blue pills with him, and that young girl ain't got all his money yet. 
Round 11 o'clock, here you come. And I'll get up and cook breakfast for you with a smile on my face. And your dumb ass think you done got away with something. Now, at this point I'm mad, but this is where she got me. She said, now every now and then you'll come in and want a little something. Because most of the time when you come in, you ain't got nothing left. She said, but when you do want some, me being a woman, I ain't got no problem. Because all I got to do is go in that bathroom and run some hot water on this, put that smell good on that you like so much, and this thing going to tighten right back up just like it was the first time you got it. If you're with me, make some noise. You thought you was playing on me. Cause every time you get up and leave I'll be two steps behind you Y'all say it again, she said You thought you was playing on me But she was playing too Cause every time you get up and leave I'll be two steps behind you Creeping, creeping.